I know that Friday evenings in the Silicon Valley are worth twice as much as Friday evenings everywhere else. <laughs> Just like our real estate, everything is inflated around here. <laughs> I am really thrilled, and I, I know that some of you are probably here because, because you're Christians. And uh, some of you are probably not Christians, but you're interested in Christianity. And some of you are neither of the above, but you're here because somebody dragged you here. <laughs> but I'm really glad you're here anyway. And some of you might be here because the topic seems interesting to you. Well, you know, love, if you can't get excited about love, it's hard to get excited about anything. <laughs> I was just reading the lyrics of some of the songs we were just reading. You know, um, love overflows. Because it takes us through many tears and many sorrows. It, it gives hope to the heart. It restores us. It says here that love is the seed of hope in our hearts. And it gives life to our dreams. It's like a warm and tender embrace. Yeah, like sunshine on our face. You know, all generations of human beings have tried with words to capture what love makes us feel. And often we just find ourselves out of words. And uh, so it, it really is worthwhile for us to spend a little time thinking about this issue of love. Yeah, and you know, one thing I noticed about love, you don't always recognize it when it comes near, near you. Yeah, so how many of you are married here? <laughs> so hang on, hold your hand. Okay. So how many of you would say, those who are married, just those who are married, how many would you say the first time you saw your spouse, you were in love? <laughs> how many of you? Oh, that's pretty good. All guys, those guys. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? We are all looking for love. Not only love from another person. We are looking for a sense of belonging and a sense of acceptance. What the Bible calls to know and be known, a deep, deep embrace. You know, if you ask the Christians in the room, uh, how many of you are Christians? Come on. That's, well, there's a few more than those who are. Who are that's <laughs> All right, so, so if you ask the Christians in the room, right, why did you become a Christian? And uh, most of them, I think, if they are honest, they would not say it's because I, I study every single religion in the world. And, and I read this Bible from beginning to end five times. And then I found myself irresistibly compelled to become a Christian. That's possible. Some do. But for many people, it's because of an experience. That is, something that used to be an objective evidence became a subjective 
experience reality in their lives. So that what used to be just simple logic suddenly become a compelling reality. So that is why sometimes um, very intelligent people with very you know cerebral minds, some are quick, some believe, some don't believe. It's not because one is more intelligent than the other. One is more spiritual than the other. Or one is, you know, doesn't need a crutch, the other one needs a crutch. It is entirely possible that one of them has just experienced something, experienced the love of God. Uh, I was 24 years old. I was not born into a Christian family, and I was 24 when I became a Christian. And uh, the, well, what happened at 24? Well, I had an encounter with God. Um, it was Maybe some people help me. Maybe maybe it's like my mom pushed me into the street. But I was hit by this gigantic truck of God's love. So I was roadkill. <laughs> So, and I am very glad that happened to me because 32 years later, um, yeah, um, I'm still overwhelmed by that love. And so think of tonight as just a fireside chat, someone who's telling you about what happened to him. Father, I'm just so glad to be here tonight. I thank you so much for your enormous love. I thank you, Lord, that um, you love the creation and you sustain every molecule in this entire universe by your love. And though even before we knew you, you loved us. And even though so many in this room are not sure that you are even there, you love us. Help us then, Lord, to experience you tonight. Okay, so I want to, I want to, oh, I want to log in. Um, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, it's a long pass. <laughs> One day I'll wake up and I'll forget my password and then I have to pray very hard. Oh, yeah. oh guys. Uh, oh, that's a lot. I just want the simple one. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, thank you for your patience. Okay, so... Um, 
I, I want to share with you a, a story from the Bible. Um, you know, uh, the passage I want to share is from the book of John. You know, one thing interesting about the Christian Bible, for those of you who don't spend time reading it much, you know, it's not just a book of doctrines, a bunch of um, rules, a bunch of um, sort of teachings about how to live. Not just. 